Hi, let's deal with an important topic called lactation and breast milk and uh, first let's begin with an Ayurvedic verse which uh, states the benefits of uh, breast milk. Manushyam vada pitta asrut avikhada akshi rogajit tarpana asrodana nasehi. This uh, breast milk or human milk is beneficial in pacifying vada and pitta doshas in the body. It is beneficial in injury. It is beneficial in eye manifestations and it can be used as uh, as eye drops or as nasal medication. Now let's talk about lactation. Lactation is a milk production and uh, from a mother and uh, the maximum output of milk is during the first five months and in that the maximum output is in the fifth month it is around 1000 ml and uh, in the first month it is around 500 ml. That means a mother, a lactating mother has to consume milk on a daily basis and it should be between 500 ml to 1000 ml. Not only that, she has to hydrate herself on a regular basis. She has to drink lots of water, milk, coconut water, lime water and the foods which she consumes should be rich in carbohydrates, in energy giving foods and uh, it should be energy giving foods and uh, it should be rich in vitamin A, vitamin C and calcium. That means she has to drink milk, she has to eat, uh, eat uh, like uh, nuts and uh, green leafy vegetables and other vegetables that has to be incorporated into a mother's diet are pumpkin and carrots, they are rich in vitamin A and uh, she should also eat fruits that is uh, rich in vitamin C like citrus fruits. That means the main duty of a mother during the initial months of uh, like post delivery it is to take care of her health so that the baby gets the benefits. That means she has to eat these uh, healthy foods. She should be away from alcohol or smoking if, he, if she has that habit and at the same time relax, take rest, have good sleep because that is all going to matter when it comes to milk production. That means uh, the mother has uh, to take care of herself so that uh, she gets uh, good quantity and uh, milk in good quality as well. Now regarding the number of meals a mother has to consume, it is not just three because uh, she has to feed the baby. So a mother has to consume a meal in between breakfast and lunch, in between lunch and tea time if, if there is a greater duration in between these uh, two and in between uh, tea time and dinner. That means uh, something, somewhere around five to six meals is the meals that uh, she has is a number of times she has to consume and uh, next is uh, like if the breast milk doesn't start coming initially in the between uh, like after just after a day of delivery she need not panic because it takes three to five days for the production of breast milk and uh, what that comes initially is cholesterol it is a yellow sticky fluid and uh, that uh, is beneficial to the baby as it is rich in antibodies and WBC. Now coming to the benefits of uh, breast milk to the baby in comparison to cow's milk breast milk is uh, rich in carbohydrate. If we take 100 ml of uh, cow's milk it has around 4.4 grams of carbohydrate whereas uh, mother's milk has around 7.4 grams of carbohydrate. But when we consider calcium or fat or proteins or energy, it is rich in cow's milk and the baby doesn't need that much at this stage because its digestive system is very tender and so breast milk is the right thing that the baby should consume initially. And the stimulation of breast milk is by the sucking of a baby. That sucking reflex is the stimulator for breast milk production. And uh, that means uh, the mother should see to it that she is always with the baby or the baby is always with the mother because uh, breast milk has several benefits. It uh, not only establishes a bond between the baby and the mother but uh, it helps the baby to fight uh, infections uh, not only at that period but uh, in his later life also it benefits. So this is a beautiful period of a mother's life and uh, she just has to eat well, sleep well and relax. So that is it and keep enjoying motherhood. Thank you.